Hello everyone, in this tutorial today I'll be showing you a couple different ways to attach items to the character, um, basically placing items in the character's hand, um, and we'll be using sockets to do that, so let's get started. Alright, before we begin, you're going to need just a couple of meshes to work with. Uh, I'm going to be using a sword and a shield. The only thing special about these meshes is you want the origin point to be wherever you want the character to be holding it. Um, that origin point will be placed wherever the socket that we're using is, so in the character's hand, for example. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is add some sockets to the character's skeleton. Um, I'm going to be using the third person template today, so we'll be working with that. Uh, so the first thing we will we'll need to do is to open the skeleton. We can do that by going to mannequin, character, mesh, and then SK mannequin. I'll just open that up. All right, so I'm going to be placing something in the left and right hand. Um, so we're going to start with the left hand. Uh, basically, you'll just place your socket wherever you want to place the item. Um, the socket will be at the end of a bone, but you can modify its location after the fact too, but it's just going to be affected by that bone. So we're going to find hand L, which stands for left hand. We're going to right click and say add socket. And yeah, it's that simple to add a socket. And then we'll, uh, just so we can see where the socket is and visualize what we'll be doing, we're going to right click it again, say add preview asset. And for the left hand, I'm going to use a shield. All right, so we'll get a view of the shield. As we can see, it's not quite in the right place. It's going through the character's arm. So we'll just modify its location just a bit. And that looks a bit better. Um, this is all going to depend on your character, your animations, and your items. Um, you'll just have to tweak it a bit so it actually works for your, your animations. You'll see in a little bit that the animations, the shield will actually go through the character's head. So you'll just have to keep that in mind when you do your animating. Uh, for the right hand, we'll do the same thing. We'll select hand underscore R. We'll say add socket. And we'll right click the socket, say add preview asset and select the sword. Uh, as you can see, it's in the wrist on this one, so we'll just move it down slightly and into the hand. Uh, that's another thing to note here for your animations. Uh, as you can kind of see there, the sword is going through the thumb, so you'll have to actually modify your animations to reflect that there's something in the hand. All right, so let's move on to attaching it to the actual character, because if you open your character, go to the viewport, you'll see that there's nothing in the hand currently. So the first method that we can use to attach an item to the character is you go to add component, say static mesh, and let's set the mesh to sword. Alright, um, usually the mesh would be attached to wherever, um, just to the basic root component, like so. Um, so you just want to drag that onto your mesh and make it a child of the mesh. Uh, from there, you can go over to sockets, parent socket, click this little uh, magnifier glass, and then you can search your socket. We got hand R socket right here. So I'll just select that one. And in this case, it popped right into the hand. Uh, in some cases, you will need to zero out the location and rotation. Uh, that's just something you'll have to keep in mind. Um, yeah, so we can hit compile. If I hit play, we now run around with the sword in the hand. That's probably the simplest method, but it's also kind of the least versatile. Um, you can set that static mesh via you know, scripting and all that, but it's pretty limited. So let's delete that static mesh for now. Recompile. The next method that we'll use is to use some scripting to place some stuff in the hand, I guess. Um, We'll just create an event. I'll use Q for an input event. And on pressed, we will add component. And we want a static mesh. Add static mesh component. Uh, we're just going to zero out the transform, so I'm just going to split it so it becomes all zeros. Um, for up here in the static mesh, we'll just set this to shield. Use my shield LP. And then off the return value, we need to tell it to attach to the character. So we'll just say, 
attach to, attach to component. And we just need to tell it what component to attach to and what socket we want to use. Um, you don't necessarily have to use a socket, but in this case, we have a socket and that's the position that we want to use, so that's what we'll do. Uh, for the parent, we just want to attach to the mesh. So we'll select our mesh and drag it in. And for the socket name, I'm just going to go to our skeleton and L socket was the name. I'm just going to copy it, control C, go back to the character and I'm going to paste it in. All right. So the last thing we need to do here is just tell it what location we want to use. And in this case, we're going to snap to target. This way the mesh will snap right to the socket. All right. We hit compile and if we hit play, Nothing in the hand, we hit Q, the shield pops up, and it reacts with the movement. As you can see, as it's running, it is going through his shoulder and head. Um, that's just, you know, the animation didn't take into account. All right, so another thing that you can also do is you can attach actors to another actor. So we'll create a, we'll just go back to our content folder. We'll create a new blueprint class of type actor. We'll just call this uh, call it sword because we're going to use the sword again. Call it BP underscore sword. Open it up, and we'll just add a sword mesh. So we'll say static mesh, and set it to sword. All right. So that's really all that's going on in this one. But, I mean, you could add extra functionality if it was, say, a rifle or a pistol. You could add the animations in there and all kinds of the damage that it does and all that. Um, so now we go back to our third-person character, and we'll just say spawn. Spawn actor from class. We'll set the class to bp underscore sword. Again, we're going to zero out the transform. I'll just split the struct pin on Q pressed, that's what we're going to do. We'll say attach to component and we're attaching the root component of our actor to the mesh. And since we want to go to the right socket, I'll just change that to an R. And so that's the basic script there. Hit play. And as you can see, we're having collision collision issues. That will happen unless you disable collision or set custom collisions on it. Um, so for the sake of this example, I'm just going to disable collision on the static mesh. So we'll go down to collision and we will say no collision. Hit compile, play, hit Q, and we get the sword in the hand. It's that simple. It's real simple. Um, yeah, I hope that helped you out. Uh, good luck with your project. Thanks. Bye. As a little extra note, I probably should say that you can also uh, attach an item not from within the character. Um, most people would probably know this, that you can just do like an overlap event. So I'll just say... Uh, Box collision. Event graph. I'm currently in the sword BP, by the way. So event begin overlap. We'll say cast to uh, third person character. All right. So from there, you can just say get mesh and scroll to the bottom. And a variable is character. It'll get you your mesh. And from there, you just need to say attach to, attach to component. And this will be target self. The parent will be the mesh. And then you just need to provide the socket name. Again, it's the same as, same as before, snap to target. And you know, I'll set it up like that. So this will, this is basically just identifying the character so we can get the proper mesh that has a socket. Um, then we get the actual mesh and we just tell it to attach this current actor, the BP sword, to the mesh. 
So if I drop one of those into the level, then when I overlap it, it should go to the right place. Yep, there we go, but it's the wrong, it's the wrong socket. <laughs> so I actually want the sword in the right hand. We'll just say hand R, hit play, and there we go. As you can see, I just run over it and I pick it up. Simple. Thanks.